Hey guys, Katie here, Ken Small Engines. And I want to do a quick video on gas caps and venting. You know, a lot of people, you know, they always tell you, oh, you know, I turn the snow blower on or I turn the chipper on or leaf blower and after about a minute or two, it just dies. Well, when you're talking about the Tecumseh engines, especially the Snow King or the engines that use this type of gas tank, this is a chipper, I got a couple of them here actually, but this type of a gas tank on a Tecumseh, okay? The newer ones on the Tecumseh are a little bit more rounded, but this type of gas cap, okay? This gas cap, and it's ironic that I have three that have this cap and all three have different problems, okay? And let me explain why. A standard cap from Tecumseh, okay, is the cap, it's got a splash shield, and it's got a rubber piece in back of it, okay? And that rubber piece, if you notice, has those little cutouts there. Those little cutouts is where air actually gets in between and goes through the threads of the cap and works its way out, and that's how it vents, okay? So I took off another cap from one of the other trimmers I had, and I said, okay, oh, look at that. The metal piece is missing, and that happens all the time. Now, here's the thing. The metal piece is missing, but if the rubber is still there, okay, and you tighten down on it, it can get into these cracks and get into the threads and still vent and still work, okay? Here's the worst case. You get one, and this is just, I just happen to have this here. It's missing everything. There's no rubber, there's no metal, there's no anything. So when you take this cap and you tighten it down all the way, the threads on this piece here, or not the threads, the top of this actually, the top piece, you know, it's flat, is gonna seal directly against the, it's hard plastic in there, there's no rubber. It's gonna seal directly against that, no vent. So if I took a cap like this, screwed it on here, and then hooked it up to a machine, that sucker's gonna die after about a minute, maybe even less than that. This one here, since it has the rubber underneath, okay, and it has the vent slots in it and all that, the air is gonna be able to get up in there and pull air through the threads, through the channels, and into the tank and into your fuel line. So this cap will still work, even though it doesn't have the deflector on it. This is the best way. It's got the deflector so fuel gets deflected so it doesn't leak out the threads. It deflects the fuel, but it also has the rubber and everything behind it so it will vent. So I'm just saying guys, if you see these Tecumseh caps and you see them on the Tecumseh gas tanks, okay? Make sure it's a full cap. These come in red and they come in black, okay? Now Tecumseh knew they had a problem with these caps, so they went to a new design so let me show you on my thrower here. This is an Aaron's 1027. This is the new design cap. Now here's the newer Tecumseh tank. It's rounded, okay? Same basic shape, but it's a little bit more functional and stylish, okay? But here's the new Tecumseh cap, so the newer Tecumseh cap. And if you look at this cap, it's got a complete venting system in there. See that? It goes inside, it's got the little slits in there, but it's got a complete venting system without that stupid plastic piece that gets knocked off and the metal shield and all that. So this is the new Tecumseh cap that you see. All right, so if it looks like that, you're good. I also have one in the back on a mower that I just put a cap on and I'll show that to you in a minute. Now these caps here, these are caps on you know John Deere's and a lot of John Deere riders. The problem with these caps, all right, the problem with these, I've replaced a lot of these. Now it's got a full venting system. There's the whole vent that pops in, all right? It's got a full venting system, but here's the problem. See that vent hole right there? Mud, mud daubers, bugs. If that little hole gets clogged up, it's not venting. I had a tractor where the customer called me up and said, Kenny, it dies after, you know, two minutes, one minute, you know, five minutes. And it drove me nuts because the gas tank was in the trunk. It was below the seat. And it was a V-twin. I think it was an L-130 or L-140, okay? And I'm looking at spark. I'm looking at carb cleaning. I'm looking at plumbing. What's going on? It ended up being a mud dauber. Put mud in there. There was actually mud in there. So I took the stupid cap off. I had a, I think I had an awl or something in my truck. And I went in there with the awl or a nail or whatever I had. And I punched that hole so it was clear. Never had a problem since. Imagine that, Go thinking it's this and that and the other thing. Gas tank vents are one of the biggest causes of problems in fuel delivery 
and engines cutting out. So look at the cap, make sure the cap is fully functional, make sure it's there. There's ways you can test these. I mean, if you want, you can make a little fixture. You could put a, a plate on there with rubber, seal it up, and then put a fitting on there to a mighty vac and, and suck it and blow it and make sure it's working. Yeah, you could do that, but you know what? For five, six, seven dollars, buy another cap. If in doubt, buy another cap. But if you're running and the thing starts dying on you, check the cap, crack the cap. How many times people are running a push mower and all of a sudden it starts dying? They say, crack the cap, they crack the cap, ba 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 pulls back up. Venting is important, all right? It's just like when you take a straw, you stick it in water, you put your finger over the top of the straw, you lift it up, you let go of your finger, vent it, boom, there's the water comes out. Gas caps are important, people. So Tecumseh Snow King and the Tecumseh Horizontal Engines, Beware of these caps and make sure it's got all the uh, components on it if it's there. If it's a new Tecumseh, you're good. These ones here, yeah, make sure that hole is clear. Make sure you can blow through it. Make sure it's not filled with mud. All right, guys, that's it for now. I will talk to you guys soon. I hope everyone's having a great time at Saltex over there in the UK. I'm hoping that you guys come on the live stream later on tonight. So take care, everybody. Like, subscribe, visit my channel. If there's anything you'd like to see, let me know. I'll do a video for you. All right, guys, take care. We'll talk to you soon. A little extra here. I had a snow engine from Briggs that took over for the Tecumseh. I took off the gas cap just to show you. Same type of vent system. You have the deflector, you have the gasket on there. It works the same way. You got the hole in there, okay? It vents up through that rubber and I don't see a hole in the top of the cap. So it looks like it's the same principle. You can see the hole in there and it'll get up in there and it'll get out through the threads and that's how it vents. So same principle, been used for years. If you're, especially in snow blowers, it happens a lot of times where people think you got vapor lock and all that, just the stupid gas cap. All right, I'm gonna show you the one on my mower in the back next, so hold tight. All right, this is one of my old lawn boys I got here, a four stroke though, Tecumseh engine. You know, I love my Tecumseh. This is a brand new gas cap. The squirrels, if you notice, the squirrels ate through and actually chomped a hole like this in the gas cap. So I had to buy a new one. This should be identical to the one I showed you on the snow blower, and it is, okay? It's got its whole venting system, works great. But look at the squirrels. They went to town. They, they literally chewed a hole right through this gas cap. I don't know what they were looking for. Maybe they like high octane, I don't know. All right, that's that one. What else do I have around here? Got this Craftsman tractor. What's this one got? Is this one up here? Yeah, see? The one like I told you on that John Deere. There's the hole that the mud daubers like. If that vent hole is clogged, it's not gonna gravity feed. All right, John Deere, they should have the same cap. Yep, there we go. John Deere with the infamous hole. And lastly, another John Deere STX, same cap. Oh, look at that one. Uh-oh, looks like there might be some mud starting in there or something. So we're gonna have to look at that one, but Remember guys, gas caps, oh, here's one, my snapper, my favorite mower, my snapper 28 that has a gator blades. Now this one is a gas cap I really like. It's got an, a vent that's manual. You can open up this knob, the vent is now on, it's venting. You close the knob, the venting shuts off. So if it's really, really hot, okay, and you don't want your gas to evaporate, you can leave it shut and the gas tank will sort of swell a little bit, but if you go like this and you hear pss, like in the in the summertime, I mean, some people, oh, I'm gonna save gas, I'm gonna shut it and you know, whatever, you don't get evaporation, you lose octane with evaporation, yada, yada, all that stuff. Hey, snappers usually come with these caps with the, adjust, the uh, manual vents on them. I like them. When I'm not using the mower, I shut the vent. That way there's no evaporation, water can't get in or whatever, so I like it. All right, that's just another one. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll talk to you soon.